morning everybody and happy Sunday. Do you know what my name is and what my job is? Well, I hope you do know, but just in case, I'm Miss Brandy and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries here at the church. I have something else I want you to try and identify. Do you know what this is? Well, this is a mandolin that you can use to slice all different kinds of fruits and vegetables. Our gospel lesson today is on identification. Jesus gave his disciples a little quiz. He asked them, who do you think I am? You see, not everybody recognized Jesus right away. And some people were confused about interpreting prophecies or predictions and understanding. So the disciples had some varied answers. Some of them said, well, people are saying you're this other previous prophet or figure. But the disciple Peter had the answer. He said, Jesus is the Messiah, the son of God. He recognized who Jesus was. This is super important to Jesus' ministry and to his followers. What about us though? Do we understand, do we know who Jesus is? Do we understand and proclaim it? Now, it, leading up to Easter, it can kind of get repetitive. You're hearing the same thing over and over again and you might be getting bored of it. But this is critical and meaningful, guys. Jesus wasn't just a cool dude or a healer. He was the savior. He was the promised redeemer. He was, he came to save us and he fulfilled God's promises to us. You know what else? He's God's son and he's one with God. So do we keep this a secret? No, we have to share it. There are people out there that don't understand Jesus and God's love. So people like us can go around and help and explain it. Just like you weren't sure maybe what this was or what it did. And then when I explained it to you, it became a little clearer. So we need to spread the news and celebrate and explain to others that Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Son of God. And He died for our sins. All right, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful week. And there's some BBS announcements coming up soon. You need to make sure you get the Children's Ministries newsletter and make sure you subscribe to us on Facebook and Instagram. Also guys, if you want to catch this message, it'll be reposted uh, tomorrow on Monday on Facebook and YouTube. And you can catch our previous messages as well. All right, let's go ahead and say our prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you, God, for sending your son to be our savior and Messiah. Thank you for keeping your promises to us and help us to go out and identify our Lord to others. In your name we pray, amen.